Rash skeleton weed is a perennial terrestrial weed. Native to Europe, Western Asia, and Northern Africa, it was introduced in northeastern North America in the 1870s, likely in contaminated seed or plant material. It was first recorded in Western North America in 1938. It's currently largely restricted to the west and east of North America, but is mostly problematic in the west. Rush skeleton weed grows best in semi-arid conditions with cool, moist winters and warm summers. It capitalizes on disturbance and is often found along railroads, roadsides, riverbanks, fallow fields, abandoned lots, and overgrazed rangeland. Rush skeleton weed dramatically reduces yields in pastures, rangeland, and field crops, especially wheat, and it displaces native plant species in natural areas. Rush skeleton weed is an herbaceous perennial. Autumn rains stimulate seedling germination, and seedlings or rosettes over winter. Rosettes grow a taproot with long, creeping lateral roots that give rise to vegetative buds, which can produce new rosettes. Over time, these rosettes form their own roots and eventually become independent plants. Rosette leaves are hairless and two to five inches long. Older rosette leaves have deep lobes that often appear to be pointing backwards towards the leaf base. Some leaves are tinged with purple or reddish brown, especially along margins and near leaf tips. Plants bolt and branch in spring, growing one to four feet tall. Stems are wiry and their bottom portions are covered with stiff, golden reddish and downward pointing hairs. Stem leaves are alternate, narrow, and grow smaller further up the stem. As flowering stems mature, stem leaves often wither back. The remaining bare stems give the plant an overall skeleton appearance. Flowering generally occurs in late summer when flower heads a half inch across are produced along stems and at the tips of stem branches. What appears to be one flower is actually a flower head containing nine to 12 yellow florets. Each floret can produce a seed without fertilization. Seeds are small, light brown, and topped by tufts of fine hairs that are readily carried by wind and water. Plants less than one year old are capable of producing seeds, and seeds can remain viable in the soil for several years, though the majority germinate within one. Above ground parts die back after setting seed, and plants re-sprout each spring from their roots. All parts of the plant exude a milky sap when damaged. There are several other plants in the sunflower family that resemble rush skeleton weed with their similar flowers or their lobed leaves. The weedy chicory has similar lobed leaves, wiry stems, and milky latex, but its florets are blue and it does not have bristles at the base of its main stem. Rosettes of the weedy dandelion have similar lobed leaves and milky latex. But dandelion stems are unbranched, hollow, and leafless, and its flower heads are much larger. The weedy prickly lettuce has similar lobed leaves, wiry stems, small yellow flower heads, and milky latex. But prickly lettuce leaves are more jagged along their margins, and it has stiff hairs present all along the stem and on leaf undersides. 